Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. It's coming in nice. So, uh, today I got another offering from Jim Beam. This one was released, I believe, in 2013. Uh, one of their first, I think it was the first Signature Craft uh, release. Uh, so, this is the Jim Beam Signature Craft. Uh, 12, 12 year old bourbon. Uh, I got my trusty distiller app pulled up. Hashtag, I'd love for you to sponsor me. Um, it has an average rating of 3.7 with an expert review of 95 out of 100. Flavor profile is vanilla and spicy. So, if you can find one of these, if you see it on the shelf somewhere and you just, oh, it's Jim Beam, blah, 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 whatever. Pick it up, because it's more than likely you're not going to see it again, because they're not re-releasing the 12 every year. They're, re they're releasing other versions. I think the last one was a Fino cask finish or some, some crap like that. Uh, description, a 12-year-old bourbon, signature craft, is impressive in the barrels chosen for this bottling. The wood tannins and spices are very well integrated. What might be most surprising of all is that Jim Beam didn't have a 12-year-old on the market until 2013. This appears to be a product that is here to stay, and that is a very good thing. The price is another. The price wasn't that bad. It was 35 which I think is relatively the same for most Signature Craft bourbons. Uh, the tasting notes are sweet vanilla cream, wood spices, apples, and cream corn take over your headspace. The sweetness of the bourbon is equally balanced with the spice. There is an incredibly long finish filled with vanilla, caramel, barrel spices, and coffee. The char smoke is intertwined quite light, nicely, and it is a subtle backdrop to the whiskey. So, this one's been sitting out very oily. So I'm definitely getting a lot of sweetness on the nose. Trying to pick apart these uh, tasting notes. Vanilla cream. Mm. A lot of spice on the back end or as you initially swallow it you got that kind of fills your sinus cavity it definitely has a long finish very sweet on the back end Yeah, that spice, right as soon as you swallow it, kind of goes up in your uh, sinus cavity. But the finish is very nice. Very sweet. Some vanilla. Definitely gets caramel. But, I mean, that's obvious. I mean, every bourbon you drink, you're going to get caramel. But I want to say this. If... Uh, if you're out and about and you're searching for whiskeys and you see this one sitting on the shelf, know, know that it's been sitting there since 2013. Uh, don't let it pass you by. I think I know of one more that's still sitting on the shelf, and I've yet to go pick it up. And I mean, people walk past it thinking, oh, it's just Jim Beam, but they don't realize what it is. Hmm. Very oily, very oily in the glass, long legs. I mean, that's a pretty good whiskey right there. I would like to do a uh, blind taste test between this and some other 12 year old bourbons or roughly 10 to 12 year old bourbons, maybe some wild turkey, some uh, Weller. I mean, you definitely, if you put this and a Weller 12 against each other, and you knew which one 
you knew what you were drinking, you'd be able to pick the Weller from this one, but you might not figure out what this is. I want to do it like a, a complete blind taste test with like a Weller 12, this Bean 12, and maybe a wild, an older wild turkey. Mm. That's a pretty good drink right there. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, so the new table that I'm sitting at, I'm gonna give everybody a quick view. This uh, this table was built by two of the other two members of the Bearded Idiots podcast crew, uh, Aaron Bailey at Whiskey Vein, Whiskey with an E, Vein with an E, uh, on Instagram, and Curtis Harmon at the Curtis H on Instagram. So, I'm going to give you a little side profile shot. We got mics over here, mics over here. We got the, the board right there. And then we got a space right behind where the camera, the camera's sitting for guests and uh, whatever. And we'll have our drinks laid out, computers, getting all fancy with it. Uh, they did a really good job on this table. It's a rough spot there, Curtis. Uh, they did a really good job on it. It's very, very sturdy. Yeah, well built. So we're trying to step up our podcast game. We uh, we just released episode 13 today. Uh, we tell some stories about, well, today. You're not going to see this for a few days. So we release episodes on Sunday. So uh, I tell stories about my time in Tijuana. And uh, we get to hear some other random stuff. So uh, go out and follow us at Bearded Idiots Podcast. I'm um, at Son of Thor 3. Also at Sparks Unlimited Fitness. Check out my friends uh, at Whiskey Vane. Whiskey with an E. Vane with an E. And at the Curtis H. So check us out. Like us. Share us with your friends. Um, drink some whiskey. Share with your friends and family. Have a good time. And uh, stay safe.